welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. This is the uh, going to be the second video on the VX220. I have got every part that I need to get this car back together, pretty much. Pretty much ev absolutely everything I've got. The front clamshell, the headlights, the crash box, the radiator, support, the bonnet, anti-roll bar, absolutely everything. So, in this video, we're going to be dismantling what's left of the front end nothing really and basically gluing on the, a new crash box assembling the front end i'm not going to do any body work in this in this video that will be in the next video you'll be inspecting to see how much damage there is underneath all that carbon fiber i think it's okay um all the wheels are still straight so, and, and it sort of looks fine from the side so i think it's okay just want to say thank you very much to everyone who's watching this video the, the vx community are amazing they're all so helpful and really really nice which is a which is just fantastic. It's really good to see car communities like that. Um, and everyone on YouTube is just really friendly and offering like, advice and stuff, which I, I really, really appreciate. So, yeah, if you're liking this um, if you're liking this car and more cars like this, please subscribe. Um, let's get to it. Oh, and at the um, end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a price reveal of how much I paid for this car and how much I've spent on parts. And it's quite a lot. All right, so the car's in. It um stalled on me like five times trying to get it in here. By the time I got it in, it was running fine. I don't know what's going on there. I've got an engine light on. I've got loads, all every warning light that exists is on in the on the dashboard. I mean, I'm not surprised by that because obviously it's had a huge huge crash. We're going to start stripping all the damaged parts off and these wheel, these fender bits. Start stripping it all off get down so we can see how much damage there really is. I know there's a little bit of damage to the chassis tub by the looks of things. It doesn't look major because the wheels are still straight. It doesn't look straight there but that's because they're, they're pointed that way a bit but they are still parallel with each other so it can't be awful but yeah let's uh, delve into it. So I just started cleaning all these bits back. Um, I've got to clean this bit back because I've got to re-glue the, the little washer um, in here because it broke off. Uh, I'm just going to epoxy that back in. But here's the dent that I was talking about where the anti-roll bar got sort of pushed up in here. Um, it's, it's not tragic. I could probably get it out if I wanted to, but I'm not, I, th I think I'm going to leave it because I think it'll be stronger if I just leave it. Because I, I think aluminium, if I bend it twice, it's just going to get weaker. But I, I did straighten it, try to start straightening it up a little bit, and I thought, oh, I don't really like how that feels. So I'm going to leave it. This all, everything is bed straight still. These points here, and the um, the rails and everything. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I'm pretty happy with it. And you can see here, everything, every everything's still dead straight, the way it should be, even under, under the bottom there, all dead straight in there nothing's nothing's bent at all um so i'm pretty happy with it but let me know what you guys think and all the mounting points are all still good here there's a little bit of a ding there um where something hit it but this is all really strong still so i'm i'm happy with it but let me know your thoughts
Look at that. The front end is on. It needs a lot of work. I don't know if you managed to watch all that. The um, front crash structure is glued on solid. Everything's just mocked up. But I'm actually pretty impressed. I haven't bolted any of these down. But the fitment really isn't that bad at all. It needs to come forward a little bit and a bit up there. This bit of clamshell here is pretty heavily damaged. It's been pushed in here but I think by the looks of things. So we're going to have to do a lot of fiberglass repair here. Both my headlights that I managed to get are in pretty good condition to be honest. I'm going to try um, cleaning them up, sanding them down, polishing up the lenses. I think they'll come out pretty good. If they don't come out well, I have got replacement lenses for these already, which would look really good. But yeah, everything lines up really well around here. Looks good. I think that needs to come out a bit there. It needs to go back a bit as well, which I'm sure it can. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the fitment of everything because everything sort of bolts onto that crash structure and all the bolt holes under here, I can't quite show you right now, but all the bolt holes are lining up really well under there. The bonnet needs a bit of work. These headlights, I was scouring the internet for ages for these. They are so expensive for some reason in, in some, on eBay and stuff. Some guy put these up on eBay as a pair for sale. His car actually burnt down um, and it was, unfortunately, he had to, the whole thing had to be scrapped and he couldn't sell any bits of it. But I think luckily he managed to grab these before the thing burnt down. But yeah, he put these up for £800 on eBay uh, bidding. And they, I was watching them. I was going to bid on them, but they didn't. They didn't sell. And then I messaged him, and he didn't want to get rid of them. He said he'll just wait until they're worth more. But I managed to twist his arm. He gave me them for eight hundred quid for the pair, so it's four hundred each, which is very good. Most of these front end pieces, um, the clamshell, the crash box, the anti roll bar, the radiator housing, all that stuff I got from a bloke called um, MMG Performance. And huge thank you to him for. I was just in the right place at the right time. I think he just happened to be getting one in and stripping the whole front end off of it. I, I just missed. He's just sold the lights, but it's fine. I managed to get them elsewhere, but huge thank you to him. All right. So how much would I pay for this? Well, I won this at Copart on their auction for, I think, 5.5 five is what I won the auction for. But Copart being Copart, after all of their fees, I think it came out to about 6 three about seven or eight hundred pounds worth of fees which is crazy just ridiculous like stupid fees like handling fee and like i don't know i don't know anyway that's just copart but yeah so that came out about six three i think that was in the end and I, so far my spend on parts is around three thousand pounds so we're about eight thousand three hundred to get it to this stage right now i have spent a lot of time obviously working on it um just working on my weekends doing doing the bits to it i've got i don't know how much more i've got left to go money wise obviously i've got to buy the paint i've got to do a lot of body work fiberglass i've probably got a, a few maybe 500 pounds more in it so it look maybe eight and a half thousand which is pretty cheap for one of these obviously yeah it has a category on it so this is now a cat s car I need to apply for a new logbook. Not right now, because I still need to get it thing bolted together and actually get it running and driving. But yeah, eight and a half grand. This is probably going to end up costing me in total. We will. I will. If I, there's a huge parts cost out, I will. Um, I'll tell you guys. Obviously, yeah. So far, we've spent about eight thousand three hundred pounds, and I've got a car that is still not usable, but it's almost there. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys, really appreciate it, and stay tuned, we'll get this painted, hopefully in the next video, it'll be gleaming and red. Mm -hmm.